Welcome back. Um, what we're going to do on this project is we're going to take a project that we've already created previously. In this case, it's going to be the uh, snowflakes gently falling from the sky where we created clones of the snowflakes. And what we want to do is we want to extend it such that when we click on one of the snowflakes, we will uh, delete the snowflake and we're going to uh, keep score of how many times we've clicked on a snowflake and gotten rid of it. Uh, so in order to do that, we're going to have to create our own variable, and we're going to have to change the value of that variable every time that we click on it. So uh, first of all, let's come over here to Snowflake, make sure this one is hidden. It looks like it's kind of just hanging out there. Um, and um, what we're going to do is we're going to look for when this sprite is clicked. I'll put that right down here. I'm going to add a comment to what I want this to have happen. So first of all, I'm going to say uh, increase score variable by one. And the other thing I want to do is delete clone. Uh, and I think that's about it that we want to do. So let's go ahead and do that. So in order to increase the score variable, we're going to have to go to variables and create a variable, right? Uh, there's one default variable that they put here, or we can click on make variable. I'll click on make variable here, and I'm going to call it score. Uh, now we have the option is to make this global, which means it will apply to all sprites, or if it's only for this sprite. In this case, we want one score to be affected by multiple sprites, so we do want the score to be for all sprites. This cloud variable is really cool. Uh, this actually is what allows you to make online games through Scratch, and you could uh, keep track of high scores. Uh, you can't do that until you've been a Scratcher uh, for at least a couple of months. Uh, they just want to make sure you're legitimate and not a computer. So we're going to leave this as for all sprites and score. Now that you've done that, you can see I've got this variable over here, score, and it has a little check mark by it. Well, then what that is showing me is that that score is showing up here uh, on the screen, and I can move this around just like any other um, any other sprite that I might have. If I don't want to show it, I would hide it by unchecking over here by score. I do want score to show up. There's a couple ways I could show it. I can right click on it and uh, have normal readout, which is what I currently have, or I could right click and have large readout, in which case it only shows the value of the variable and not the name of the variable. Or I can also have a slider variable here. And now you can see I'm actually changing the score this way. So I like the normal readout in this case. Um, and I'm gonna just leave that there and I'll leave it in the top middle of the screen. So now that I've got my score and I've got um, my event when the sprite is clicked, I need to just increase the score variable by one each time it's clicked. So let me go to operators. Um, actually, not, I don't even have to go to operators. Uh, right here under variables, it has set my variable to, which would give it a specific value, or change my variable by, and in this case, I'm gonna change the variable by a positive one. I need to change that from my variable to score. Uh, that's the default variable that they've created for you there is my variable. So I'm going to change that to score. And that's the first thing I've done. And then the only other thing I need to do is go to control and delete this clone. Uh, and you'll notice delete this clone always ends the code. You can't really do anything after you've just deleted that clone. So um, I'm going to go ahead and test this out. And there you go. Every time I click on a snowflake, you can see it is uh, deleting the clone and uh, increasing my score up top. So that's how you can create a user created variable. Uh, this is a very powerful idea is the ability to abstract uh, values. I don't have to ever change uh, my code um, in terms of the value of the variable. The value of the variable will uh, dictate what it looks like for the user. Uh, but for me, all I need to know is what the name of the variable is. In this case, it's score, and then I want to increase it by one each time. So now that you know how to create your own variables, uh, think about how you might incorporate that into your own coding and make much more dynamic projects.